In this video, we will learn how to use Apache Commons Net Library to connect and log into FTP server in Java. First, we can download Apache Commons Net Library. Uh, you can use the, any version you want from this binary. I'm just going to download this one over here. And we'll save it. And we can go to the download folder and extract our archive so we can add the jar file to our project. Extract it over here. In our extractor for the folder we extracted, we have this common net jar file. This one we need to include to our project. We can create our project in Eclipse. FTP example I will add a new class to our project FTP example. And click on finish to add the jar to our project we can cl right click on our project and then build path and then we can add external archive And we can go to our folder and look for this jar file, commons net. I will select this one. Now we have this jar added to our project. I will import Apache Commons libraries that we need in our code, those classes. First, I will import Java IO section. And then import R dot Apache. dot commons dot net dot ftp dot ftp ftp client this should be io section And then import r dot apache dot commons dot net dot ftp dot ftp reply and 
What we need is our work to connect to. So I'm just going to use a variable over here, string server name, and then this will be your FTP server. address of your FTP server and then the port number that is 21 and you need your username your username and then you need a password for that FTP server and that will be string password your password and now I can just create a FTP client object And then I can call this connect function. FTP client dot connect and passing our server name and the port number. And then FTP client dot login and then pass username and password. This throws IO exception. We can catch that exception. I will add a try catch block over right here. Catch IO exception and then print stack trace inside the catch now I have added IO dot print stack trace so this is a simple code to connect to our FTP server with Java by passing in your username and your password uh, if we get an error connecting to the server we may want to print that uh, code or the error we can do that we can get reply string by calling FTP's get reply string to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel keep supporting me and thank you for watching